Hello, this is Allison Church. Um, thank you for your time and attention. Um, I really appreciate all the kind words that you guys have been sending to me. I, it makes me feel good. And God bless you for it. Today, I want to talk about a very interesting phenomenon that has happened since I've come out and changed my pictures. And I'm Allison on the Facebook page that I have. Facebook is a wonderful, wonderful platform. It's where people can catch up with their, you know, family pictures, family news, family gossip, um, talk to friends, find old friends, and reconnect. It's a wonderful platform. I use it to uh, talk to my sister and uh, promote my books, which happen to be a big part of my life um, but there's been a phenomenon that I've encountered where guys total strangers whom I don't know anything about hence the word strangers will send me pictures of their nom nom parts Why? I asked that of my fellow uh, female co-workers. And a couple of them laughed. So that right there told me that it's, it's not a one-time thing. And one of them actually said, welcome to the club. And I find that extremely profound. That anyone, male, female, you know, anyone, would send... Something so private, pardon the pun, and profoundly intimate without at least a freaking handshake, you know? Um, guys, if you want to be my friend, friend me, you know? You know... And if you send a picture for just above the waist, okay, 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 please, 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 um, in the spectrum of LGBTQ, I am a T, obviously, but I am also an L. I prefer and enjoy the company and companionship of women. Um, I dig them. A lot. Um, that's probably why I've been a sort of fair to Midland, lack of a better word, boyfriend, one before I came out. Because Allison and me loved the women too. And I could function, you know, as a normal. Now, when I say normal, I'm not trying to be derogatory or anything. It's just, for me, it's that point of reference that tells me that I'm dealing with people who don't have gender dysphoria or are not homosexual or have some kind of identity issues. They are blessed with a certain assuredness of who they are, and that's a superpower. But that was that. That's weird. And like I said, above the waist, please. Now, also, romance has always been a difficult thing for me because it's hard to tell the woman that you love that you are not the individual they thought you were. Um, eventually secrets always kill the buzz and the intuitive nature of females they can sense something is amiss in the Garden of Eden and not speaking about who I am made them not want 
who I tried to be. And sometimes that was painful. There were those that, once we separated, we became extremely good friends. One lady that I was engaged to once is still a very good friend of mine and a wonderful uh, companion to go out and do fun things. But, as much as I loved them as who I was, it wasn't satisfying. I mean, I don't know if this is something that all transgendered people go through because, I mean, who kisses and tells when uh, most of people are so judgmental so romance is a bitch what can I say <laughs> um, when I do these videos I don't have a script I do them on the fly and it's something bubbling at the you know top of my mind and coming out as brain, certain colorful brain droppings if there's anything that, like, like I said, if there's anything you guys would like to talk about, I'm open to the su suggestion. But, just try to be happy and be yourself. People will judge you. Some will not understand. And that's okay. That's the price we pay for living in a free republic. Um, I'm going to stop now. I'm going to try to do what I can to uh, find, a, find a more fascinating subject to talk about next time. Um, thank you all for your time. You are very special to me. And you keep me going. So... Until next time, try to have a good day.